Hello YouTube, um, welcome to my tutorial. I'm going to show you how to export 3ds Max um, models into UDK. Uh, that is with the textures as well. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there that don't show you um, the export in with the textures, so I'll just do it for you right now. Um, don't tip me for a pro because I've only had 3ds Max for like a day or something, and I was just trying to export into UDK, and it was just um, a nightmare to try find out um, no real help on forums so uh, it's just a quick simple video it may not even have all the shadings and things that you like um, in UDK I'll just show you to make a nice model with its diffuse map so it will have you know just the basic textures it might not have you know the the, the normals um, the normal maps um, you'll just have to find that out on your on your own uh, I just use the diffuse maps th to be honest. So let's get started. Um, first, you can I'll put this link in the description. Uh, it's just um, the model that I'll be using right now. Uh, if you want to use that, I know it's Pokemon, but you just gonna have to get over it, bro. Um, it's free to download, and but you have to sign up. Um, but that's about it. And when you get that, and you download that, you should get a, a zip file with. Lugia Max and a readme file you can ignore that. So I'll just open up my Autodesk. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, gonna do this in one take. Hopefully, I can't be asked to edit in at all to today. It's only it's like half five in the morning, so um, I'm just gonna do it in one take. So if I say uh, ah, um, a lot, sorry about that. I tend to do it a lot. So. Open up Lugia.max. I've already opened it up before. <coughs> In fact, I'll delete everything that I've made before because that might confuse you. I want it to be the same. Uh, models, blah, 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 blah Lugia map. Right. right, everything's like it should be. Um, when you get it right if you want to if you want to do a couple of things before we actually start you can reset all the transformation um, values by clicking on the hammer bar there utilities reset its form reset selected and then and you, you should get a new layer and that would have uh, reset everything for you also you can <coughs> uh, there's a there's a pivot which you can change um, this this thing here. If you want to change that, then you, you can go into where do I go now? Um, oh, here we go. It's in the hierarchy tab. Select pivot only, and then you can hopefully yeah you can you can do that. Um, you know, center center align stuff like that. <coughs> but that's just optional if, if you really want to. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you right how to do it. Right, what you've got to do is you've got to make a, a UV map, which um, is like kind of like coordinates for the uh, the model. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, if I try to render anything right now, just ignore what I'm doing because this this currently isn't UV mapped. Uh, so if I if I try making a texture, then I'd get an error. So that's basically what you've got to do first. You're going to make a, a map. So what we're going to do is go to your modify tab, click down, and U UN uh, UV wrap. Sorry, um, UVW unwrap, and then click on that. Uh, you can then go to edit UVs, open UV editor, and you'll get some um, vertices looking thing with loads of vertexes and things. But what you want to do is make sure that's selected and go on face, click face there, and go to your edit UVs window. And then under mapping, 
you go to flat flatten mapping and just click OK there and that will make your UV for this particular model so every every texture will be on there okay so that's been made now you can collapse all that uh, click yes now what I'll do now is I'll just export the actual 3D bit not the textures so we'll go to the I don't know, icon button export you can export selected and then for the UDK format it's ASE we'll just call it Lugia for the sake of it and these are the settings you should have uh, I don't know why but that's how everyone else has it and then so that's been done if you go to your not that one All right. export there should be a .ac file called Lugia now that it's been UVW mapped we'll go to rendering and render to texture this will make the texture um, for the model now you can select where you want to output it I'll just quickly select desktop uh, make sure it's got existing channel there um, make sure you when you click add diffuse map and then and then that's it I've already got one selected anyway but yeah you click add diffuse map there you go and then keep going down I select 1024 that's fine and then you can have it as a TGA if you like and that's the best format and then you can just render it and see what happens now that is your texture map now you don't even have to save that because it's already been it's already been created in the output file in, in the output um, path so if I went to my desktop now I can just um, close that I've made everything that I need then there'll be a yeah my Lugia diffuse map there so what I'll do now open up my UDK editor everything's going smoothly right, right now That's best video ever you know. um, I'll just use a um, custom one of them new packages anyway can't, can't bother making my own uh, I'll just use this for the sake of it now I'll go to import my actual model my ASE file there's my Lugia file open it um, select your package that's untitled one there uh, I'll just leave it as that. Okay. Ignore that. Okay, so I've imported my model. There it is. Awesome. Now I'll import the texture, which is on my desktop. Um, you can just leave all that. Okay. Okay, there it is. Um, now, to make sure it even f this this will work, you can you can go to this d double click on your um, icon there, select your UV channel, and then that will show you what what needs to be uh, mapped. Uh, it's kind of like your coordinates. So here we go. Uh, right click on there, new material. Let's just call it the gear mat for material you can click and drag the 2D texture 2D thing there and then the black means RGB and that goes to diffuse there we go and then click the green arrow okay so then we can go back to our Lugia file there's already one open isn't it anyway 
Right, now you select material, go into your LOD info, your zero element zero, and you can select that you selected object in the content browser, and there we go. It's applied. How awesome is that? Now it still says no collision model, so what we can do is um you can select on level twenty six for example. That's the best one and then there'll be like a collision box around it. How awesome is that? Okay, so now we can drag that in there. And bam. Got your uh, your Lugia your Pokemon in there. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Um hope that's helped. Um see you in a bit. Do all the uh, subscribing, commenting. If you need any questions, questions then answered, then uh, then you can drop me a line. But um, I'm not the expert, so if uh, other people can help out, that'd be great. Thank you. Bye.